<sighs> Ready to read a book. Well, we've all been in that place where you try to read a book and it just doesn't work out. You read and read and finally you give up. Flip the page, flip the page, flip the page, and nothing. What do you do now? So you pick up your second book. Okay. Ready to read. Okay. But you get to the first chapter, you read after word, paragraph, pages, and you can't get into it. And then that's when you sort of just want to fade into oblivion. Find another book. And another. Okay. Can't read it. Nope, you can't. So you pick a different book. Read the first sentence and nope. Hey guys, it's me Valeria and today I'm going to talk about reading slumps. What are reading slumps you ask? Well, I looked it up online and according to Urban Dictionary, they say that reading slumps, reading slumps are a reader's worst nightmare. Not being able to pick up a book and read because you just can't, you, you just can't read. So thank you Urban Dictionary for that definition. Reading slumps, like I said before, is a reader's worst nightmare. I don't know if you guys have been in reading slumps because I've recently been in one and I still haven't gotten out of it and I'm terrified that I'm never ever ever going to read again. I am going to give you a couple of my tips if you need help to get out of a reading slump because we all know it just feels like the end of the world. My first tip would be do not force yourself to read and don't force yourself to read big books like Outlander or City of Bones or even like Harry Potter like who would want to read those like big humongous massive books with like excruciating vocabulary when you don't want to read so my second tip for you guys would be is just breathe in out Breathing is going to be the key to these steps. So I guess my third tip for you guys would be go take some time to yourself. You can either go draw, you can go watch Netflix, going on Netflix and watching your favorite chick flick. Go watch some new TV shows like I just recently got into True Blood. When you came in. Go scroll through Tumblr. My next tip would be to go watch YouTube videos, not just any regular YouTube videos, but find book reviews. I, don't, I know Sasha Alsberg, a book utopia, she does a lot of book reviews, Benjamin of Tomes, and so many other YouTubers do booktube, so I suggest you go check them out and go watch some book reviews and maybe you'll find a book that you'll like and maybe you'll be excited to go pick it up. I had made an Instagram post earlier in the week asking what books you guys recommended for people who are stuck in reading slumps and just can't read, or for people who just want to get back into reading. So a lot of authors had commented on this, and thank you, by the way. Um, the first comment I received was from Lori Langdon. She is the author of the Dune series, and she really recommended uh, the Alienated series by Melissa Landers. And then Abby and Missy, authors of the Sinner series, they commented the Throne of Glass series, the Wrath and the Dawn by Rihanna, Rihanna Day. I'm so sorry if I butcher your name. Um, she also commented Ember of, Ember of the Ashes by Sabata Tahir. I think that if we all just relax, breathe, and 
not have a crisis, I think we're all gonna be okay with reading slumps. We all have them and it's okay. I hope this helped you with your reading slump and if not, go check other videos of, about reading slumps because that's what I did. And my social media is linked down below if you want to follow me around. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Fuck me while I taste your fingertips.